Before moving forward, click the red subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss the upcoming updates. Hey guys, it's Uwami here from Tech Dwarf for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could make an futuristic style editing in Photoshop CC. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to open the Photoshop and click on the new and after that you have to take the square size page so you could take 1024 into 1024 like this the resolution can be 720 72 and simply click on create so after doing that you have to take a layer and you can click Control 0 to fit to the screen and after taking a layer simply click on this rectangular market tool and simply draw a line like this for and after taking a rectangular simply click on alt plus backspace to fill the color in it foreground color as you can see let me change the color of background to black so that it is easy to visible so and now as you can see you can press ctrl and t to select the rectangular like this and you can click the shift press the shift plus alt key on the keyboard and drag with the mouse to resize it you, after that simply click ctrl j to copy the layer and then ctrl t to select the copied layer like this As you can see so you can randomly just increase the breadth of this rectangular you can again take any random line and simply resize it to the small as you can see you can again copy and press the shift on the keyboard and use the arrow keys to at this the direction of it you can create any random pattern for creating a circle so you can simply drag it and right click on the rectangular and click the perspective and then simply change the size like this And you can attach it here again ctrl j and ctrl t to copy and select like this so after doing it as you can see there are lots of layer here so you have to simply merge all these for merging simply click the layer from till here where you want to merge so here i am merging all the layer simply press the click shift button on the keyboard and click the layer till there where you want to merge it after that press ctrl and e on the keyboard to merge it as you can see it's on the single layer so after doing that you could simply resize it and make sure that it is touched till the end of the page and after that selecting this layer click the filter then go to distort and you have to choose the polar coordinates and in polar coordinates you have to choose the rectangular to polar as you can see and click ok so whatever shape you had made it will be like this so it is a circular as you can see so 
so this is the shape which I have got it so what you can do is simply first enlarge it now simply you have to press the control and T then right click and choose the respective option and after that simply drag from the corner as you can see so that it flatten to the ground click the distort option after right clicking and from the midpoint you can do like this so as you can see so now let me drag the tree in the photoshop simply click your image whatever image you want and drag and drop directly into the photoshop after you had put any image simply click enter and then go to the layer option of image and right click and click rasterize layer after that you have to select this layer press ctrl and t to transform it and resize it like this So now you can select this circular and place it we have to put down the tree and after that simply again copy this circular and resize it like this after that again make a copy and select it and now this time you have to keep it in the middle and after selecting this middle ring you have to go to the filter so you have to go to the filter go to the blur and you have to choose the motion blur option and make sure it is 90 degrees and you can adjust the distance by sliding this cursor so I will be choosing this so after that I want to make the tree larger so I will be selecting this tree and make it larger by selecting it from control T and then tagging from the corner now I can simply put this ring and make it little bit smaller and at the top and uh, now this could be in the middle little bit smaller and now the lower one can be little bit in smaller now to look it be to make this behind the tree you have to select this layer and choose the eraser and after choosing eraser right click and make sure the hardness is zero so after doing that to make this that the tree is in the middle you can erase this ring as, like this similarly you could choose the another middle ring and erase the portion and the same you have to do it with the top so by this way you could easily create a futuristic tree or whatever name you want to call it or you can also put any object in between or the way you like to make it you can also decorate it by clicking on the brush icon and then choosing the brush and make sure to change the color and for adjusting the settings of the brush you have to simply click the F5 on the keyboard and from here you could increase the shaping spacing and go to the scattering and you can increase the scatterness like this i'm increasing the hardness to 81 percent and from here you could easily make sure you have making this all in the new layer so like this and make it look like a glow simply you have to double click on this layer so that the ops layer style option come or you can easily 
open this layer by clicking on the right click and then go to blending option you can and the layer style will be there from here you can add the glow so you could adjust the color of the glow whatever color you want so and you can adjust the size and spreadness like this so let it look like it is glowing so this was just a quick tutorial it may be a bit long so I, so I hope it might have helped you so that's all in this video friend I'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video friends drop a like leave a comment if you have any questions to ask and subscribe to this channel now as more exciting videos coming up and do share this video with your friends and family this is Shivam signing off